Good morning everyone. It's Saturday morning and today I'm going to show you the antique shops that are available in the Wexford town area. I'm going to start off first with uh, Lowney's uh, Treasure Trove. It's located in Castle Bridge which is about a, about a seven or eight minute drive outside of Wexford town over the bridge. And then I have um, Kathleen Darcy's uh, place that's right out on the quay. Um, right off the bridge you turn to your right and it's just right there on the left near Monk Street. And then the other one we have is um, is O'Toole's, which is owned by Jack McGee, which is the brother of Jim McGee's, which if you watch the uh, the uh, pubs one, that his brother used to have Jim McGee's, the pub with the uh, accommodation that he recently sold. Um, and then maybe if the Bullring one, there's a little place in the Bullring, it's like a, a shop that opens up uh, on Fridays and Saturdays only. If that's available, uh, that's not always open. Um, I'll, I'll show you what that is now. Okay, so now you can see behind me they have a, a van for delivering. So if you order something of the larger items, they will deliver to you. Um, here's the old building on the outside. It has all sorts of, there's several floors and it has a bit of everything. So here's the old floor. They do some repairs to the items. And you enter into a labyrinth of all sorts of goodies here. Here we go. So when you walk in just to the left, you have all the china and plates. So if you come in to Wexford Town, I'd say this is one of the larger ones. So if you're missing that one glass that got broke, or here's the old sugar. Nine pounds, nine euros. All of these different cutleries and all sorts of delf. Definitely something for everyone's in their taste. miss some stuff. So you can spend hours here. Here's your man. Had a few too many. Here's a nice table. Six ninety-five. It's a writing desk. Drawers. They have all sorts of stuff here. Please. <laughs> Here's Vintage chemi Chemist uh, Balancing Scales. Big old cabinet. George is that walnut uh, dome top library bookcase. On the sides of that. One similar to this at home, a little smaller than this. And they're all crammed with stuff, like everywhere. So here's the LA and see it goes upstairs, and there's a little place here. My own sign. And take a look in here. Wow, oh, these may say the old Chinese benches. There's some overflow of Delph. I think these are odd mismatch plates, so if you're missing a, uh, a certain plate because you broke one or one, you want to match a set, you can come around here and look at all of them. Here's a desktop. Tons, tons of stuff here. Oh, 
ponds, I think, because the water boys. Oh yeah, where ponds or is it an aquarium stuff? Probably a pond would make more sense. It's a nice little basket, four euros. Very nice. There's your man Buddha. Upstairs. So we'll just make our way upstairs. There's lots of pictures and paintings and prints. So if you're decorating a, a room in the house or even if you have a hotel or, or a guest house that you want to decorate. Here's an old map of Ireland. You have all these rugs, carpets hanging over. And then there's tons of chairs here. More carpets there and all sorts of desks. Here's a nice one, eh? The leather top writing desk. $6.95. And I'm sure the prices are able to be negotiated with them. I bought a few items for our place here. I got about three wardrobes, two desks, a couple of shelves and stuff. And it was very handy they were able to deliver it. There's some more furniture here. These are nice little ornate desks. Eh? An old vintage. Arch top mirror, 95. Little Georgian style mahogany desk, three uh, drawers, 395. Bed frames, headboards. Like you have to look everywhere because even when you walk by, you just you miss stuff. There's so much stuff in here, so we'll go. Here's a hallway entrance there for coat rack. Vintage ornate carved wall. coat rack. items and that will take a bit off. There's a lot of tables and chairs again. There's another wardrobe, I think. Look at that, that's a lovely old chair if you had a sunroom or something. Okay. All that chairs. Wow, oh, I like those chairs. I wonder how much these are. Uh, six vintage beach kitchen chairs, $2.95. going up. Like I said, there's a lot of floors, a lot of little rooms in the place. And then some big old mirrors. That one's sold. They are neat. Look at these old paintings on silk. $2.25. Look at that. Like I said, a lot of neat stuff. And there's tons of carpets everywhere. Oh, that's an expensive one. $14.95. And here we have some books. So they even have books here. So it's a bit of everything. I'd say they got these from house clearances and stuff. Wow. And old records. 
missionaries. I wonder if they have any travel books. Always on the search for good travel books to pick out future destinations. Now, just a quick comment. Um, doing really well. I want to try to get up to 500 uh, subscribers. I'm just about just under 400 right now. So please hit that subscribe button. Help me grow my channel. I have some other uh, interesting uh, vlogs coming uh, in the future. One of which I've already booked, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. Is I'm heading off to uh, Edinburgh at the end of July, and we're going to stay with somebody that I found on couch surfing. So it's a very reasonable uh, price of the flight. I got it for 60 euros return. I, it's going to cost me more to get up there by bus to the airport and back. So the uh, the plane ride is all booked and the accommodations selected. So stay tuned and you'll see where I'm staying when I get to Edinburgh. Beautiful city. So I'll be spending, I'm getting there early Friday morning and leaving Sunday night. So I'll have all day Friday, all day Saturday, all day Sunday to explore the beautiful city of Edinburgh. Here's a nice little chair. Look at how decorative it is. Like I said, something for everyone in here. You know, you can find something you like on everyone. I'm not too sure about these chairs. What are these going at? $3.95. So I don't like the, the postery stuff. If you're looking to use it for myself, you know. So there's a lot of bit of everything in this place. There's some more, but look at that. The book uh, looks like it was part of a wall, a bookshelf or something. And then we'll just uh, make our way back down. So that's Lowney's uh, Treasure Trove. I'll put the link below of their website so you can check online and, and browse online to find what they have. And if you're in Wexford uh, town, make sure you just pop over the bridge. It's like, like I said, about six, seven minutes drive and you're here. If you don't have transportation, there is a link bus that comes out to Castle Bridge uh, or you can get a taxi. A taxi would be pretty affordable too. So uh, come down, spend it on the website. I think it has all the major furniture stuff. So if you want to have the, um, you know, the little knickknacks, the stuff, the, uh, the porcelain, the pottery and all that stuff, you'd have to come in person and enjoy the place. Here's a little huge set. What is this? 10 Chippendale Revival Mahogany Dining Chair, $13.95. Wow poster though so they can get sp spilt on anyways so that's the first stop now s stay with me and we'll see the next pop coming up and see where it is so the next stop is Darcy's Antiques now here's the main street over there where you see Bernardo's this is Skeffedin Street so you can park along here or there's other ways and there's the Wexford Bridge so it's Handy enough, there's car park over by the uh, the cinema where Dunn's Stores is. You know, you can walk in, but you see the little antique sign there indicates where we're coming up to it. There's the... And here's a place where you get coal bunker right beside it. So that's how you know if you're, if you're getting close to it and then here we are here. So, and then it's open. Here's the schedule. Opening hours. And there's the entrance to the place. They have a few stuff outside. And then find your step. And we'll go inside and see what it's like. some all sorts of little knickknackies collectibles okay so we walk in there's a hutch with all you know sherry glasses and porcelain 
this. Shop. It's located right in the town, so it's easy to get to. You don't need a car like the one for across the bridge and Castle Bridge. So these next couple we're going to see. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to check the bull ring. I might have to come back to the bull ring because it tends to open up a little afternoon. Uh, we'll go to O'Toole's, which is by Jack Maggie owns that, and see what they have to offer. And, you know, there's all sorts of stuff here. Of the ones that my granny used to have, and then you have some more. There's a glass walking cane, and then some more. These are kids' stuff here. Okay, now we'll just take a look upstairs. She says she has some furniture upstairs too. Pop our heads up here and see what they have, and then we'll make our way to the next place. Here's a corner. I like that bright green. Really nice. Oh wow, I've never been up here. Something I didn't know. So these are interesting chairs, eh? Square back. Ones, eh? Don't know how they would go, but they're matching. Wardrobes. An oriental style back of a bed. She's long. Sold, sold. Here's a nice corner hutch too. Nice old sewing kit. A fire guard. Yeah, it's interesting. So we've lots of stuff here. Here, chatterbox. Look at that old book. Oh, 
Oh. Old letter openers. So now, we'll venture on to the next stop. Okay, so we're in the bow ring. It's right there. And then there's a bunch of stalls here. And it brings me to this place where they have all sorts of books and collectibles. Books and bits. So they have a whole bunch of Irish, mostly history and different parishes. And then some collectible stuff here. And inside I bought a few little bits here of now and again. It's a handy little shop that's been there. It's open Fridays and Saturdays, sometimes bank holidays. located and we walk out so like there's all these different things that you're available and it's just located right here and if you walk out here you get into the uh, the boring where you have the pike man and the 1798 commemoration and there's Mackins from the uh, the pub vlogs that I've done and there's the pike man from the Wexford walk so that's where it's located just in here and there it is the boring market Friday, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now we'll move on to the final one, which is O'Toole's, which is Jack McGee owns it. So we'll be there in a few minutes. I just have to walk to the other end of town. So here's the bow ring, there's the main street. And it's probably about a six, seven minute walk. It's all the way at the end of the main street, right by King Street. Um, it's right opposite, if you remember the Foggy Dew, and this is one of the uh, pubs that I showed so it's not too too far so we'll just make our way that way and we'll show you off the uh, the um, the last of the antique shops that are located in Wexford town area okay now I'm outside O'Toole's so maybe you'll see the thumbnail this is the third the fourth one that we're gonna show here's the front window so you have all these and take a look what they have here all these little Guinness signs advertising for drinks There are all these Zippos and also the uh, Swiss uh, knives. Hello. Hello. Here's How your man you? yourself. Here's How Jack. Hi, Jack. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Walk away. I'm well, just... I'd rather be a knife for you down the back. All right. Thanks. I'm just going to show off the, the place there. You're... I can't see your name. What's that? What's your first name? Mick. Beach. Yeah. Thanks, Mick. I, I, I just go down here for a minute. You no problem. Away. Thanks, Jack. Thanks. And I bought a few items from here. We got some chairs and hut and uh, cabinets and that. And then here's some. You know, they have some modern stuff too. So you want beds and stuff. And he he's also will deliver it for you. Here's some more. Common theme is a lot of China Delph that you can get on all of these places. It's a dressing table. This is a lovely chair. Like this style. 195. That's not that bad actually. And a hall stand. 180. So this would be at the doorway, and then that's where you put your canes and stuff and your walking sticks. Here's your man, St. Patrick. That's some pictures and some more cabinets. And they have books. Don't 
paintings. Here's a little old Sunday Times advertisement. Goes back to 1941, April 20th. Little tables, Hutch display unit 135. So that's reasonable, it's not too expensive. These are some wall plaques, Port Larga, which is Waterford. Newspapers, hmm. so it's a bit of a mix of old and new here. Like you said, Jack, like everything's most of the places you can negotiate a little bit, you know. There's a pair of Victorian prints, 125. There's a bog oak with a clock on it. Some more porcelain up there. The week. Poster and week is very collectible. A lot of places have it, some little lamps. Summer special cow picture now one ninety nine. Little postcards. There's fairy carrick, so I've done that vlog. Some door knockers. Proper ones, eh? Seventy five. And there's a walking stick. Thirty euros each. So I think that's the sticks that are gone, not the unit, because that would be very reasonable for only 30. Actually, we've got a night hall. And like it's located, if you look inside, it's right opposite Flanagan. So it's at the end of King of the South Main Street, and you have King Street, and I'll just show you where it is. King Street's right there, and there's Michael Kelly's, or the Kelly's on the corner. And there's the uh, Foggy Dew and Sky on the Ground, which we did on the uh, the vlog in uh, the pubs. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I want My next goal is to get to 500. I want to get there by next month. So we're well on our way. And then, like I said, I have Edinburgh coming up. I have uh, Nepal. And I have a bunch of other ones local and a little bit of ways to uh, show you. And if you have any comments or places you want me to show in Ireland or whatever, just please make sure you comment it and I'll do my best to show you where they are. Okay, thank you.